Well, it's nighttime. But even so, this mural is lit up very nicely. But we're on our way home from dinner. And I shot some video today. And it is going to be another video seeing how much we spent in a day. I've been uh, shooting these kind of slice of life in Cuenca videos with my telephone. Today's uh, video, I'm going to shoot with the camera girl's phone and see how much money we spend today. Depending on how the uh, how our stabilization and sound uh, works, we'll see how it goes. But if it's at all serviceable, I'll edit it together and put it up uh, so you can see what we do and how much it costs throughout the day. So apologies in advance if, uh, if the video quality isn't that great. But it can only get better in the future. So, I will start now at the beginning of the day. Alrighty, there's the Coliseo right there. You probably don't need my finger to point it out. But there's a rock climbing wall. And when we walk around the Coliseo, they have uh, tennis courts as well. But we don't like walking around there because whenever we're around too much exercise, you know, even if we're not doing it, even just seeing other people exercise, kind of makes us nervous. What are we nervous about? <laughs> but uh, there's a uh, coffee in this direction, so we'll go this way. Hanging out watching YouTube, just like you. Uh, but we are at Cafe Urban, Urban Cafe. And it's actually uh, part of a furniture store over there and the Tranvia the Tranvia runs uh, right outside so hopefully I'll get a shot of that but this isn't far from uh, where we're staying now near the Bataan Mall in the Coliseo and I got a piece of carrot cake of course a latte just a regular Americano and it was seven dollars It doesn't beat Ca Café del Zwag. Zaguan. Why do I always say Zwag? Alrighty. Oops. There it is. I think I got it. So this coffee shop here. Why are you hiding? It's uh, right in front of the Tranbia station. Right there. It's very comfortable and nice. Although it's a hot day today. Uh, from what we've been experiencing. But uh, this coffee shop is right along the Tranvia line. And I don't know how far the Tranvia goes up here. I think it turns off and goes into a different neighborhood. We follow the tracks up there. But this here uh, will run down and go right through the uh, historic uh, district and beyond, and we've walked down this road a lot. This is a nice thoroughfare. And uh, there's a whole heap of gringos over there and whatever the heck that is across the street. I wonder if, if that's Common Ground Sports Bar. What you looking at, camera girl? Uh, I think a daddy and his little baby. They just got a kiss from their mom. Is that your way of saying you want to start a family? So the Tranvia runs for quite a few miles, I think. We still haven't been on it. Although today would be a good day to be on it because it's so, it's so hot out today. So we've been here for, uh, I don't know, uh, over two months now, and we have yet to get on the uh, on the Tranvia, Tranvia, however you say it. But it's right here on uh, Grand Colombia, and now we're gonna walk just one block over, and that's the uh, Rio Tomoibamba River right there. 
but we're gonna get off that busy road and get in the shade. There's a fella down there and he's washing a bag of fruit and those carts up there they're full of fruit but he's hauling some apples. They look like apples uh, up from the river. So those carts over there are loaded with bags and I think those are mostly fruit. But it's nice being in the shade. It is an unusually hot warm day today. We're getting uh, our hats are getting a workout. It's a beautiful walk along the Rio Tombe Bamba. Oh, that's as far as my back will go. They definitely have some beautiful modern apartments built and going up around here. I don't know how much it would cost to live down here and what kind of bang you would get for your buck. But it'd probably be a nice deal compared to uh, something comparable in the United States. There are some folks hard at it washing clothes in the river and they got big bags of clothes up there and they got clothes drying along the bank and this is just down from uh, uh, where the folks were washing the fruit it's a nice beautiful warm day today but when we saw them out before I mean it was kind of a chilly day so I can only imagine how cold that water must be. But there's folks over there as well. So there's lots of construction going on. Definitely some uh, newer apartment buildings going up. What do you think of all this new construction going on in these apartment buildings down here? And kind of the solitude and the beauty of the Rio, Rio Tome Bamba. You kind of give it a hard time. I do, sort of. Well, compared to um, the colonial part of town, the historical part of town, it doesn't have as much character, but, you know, that's not the only thing to consider. What else do you have to consider? Um, services, uh, walkability, which I think this has. It's just not, and you're right, this is gorgeous. I mean, these, these tall apartment buildings here that are all along here in this uh, part of the, uh, the river, like one block over right on the other side is uh, Grand Columbia and the Tranvia. So you could walk out, you know, basically the front of your building and get on the Tranvia and ride it down, you know, to El Centro, no problema. That's true. Or you could walk there in, what, 45 minutes? Ah, it's not even 45 minutes. If we went over there and got on Grand Columbia, we'd be downtown in a half hour. That's true. And that's good for you. Yeah. So, yeah, I shouldn't be so hard on this area. There's definitely things to recommend it. And apparently, there's a lot of people moving in because there's a lot of construction. There's a new building going up there. We're kind of back in a back area and you know almost every place around here there's like gated communities but even houses that aren't in gated areas. I mean they all come right up to the road. They all seem to have gates and bars and barbed wire and uh, 
electrified uh, wires along the top in these walled areas. I mean, that's almost like, that's just how a lot of construction is in Latin America. I don't think we ever go into any neighborhood anywhere where we go. You know, and even in the most ramshackle areas that we've been in, you know, people still have uh, lots of walls and and bars and security measures in place. You know, everybody everybody has their own uh, fortress of solitude. Hi. That one almost got you, huh? Yep. All right, we mentioned it in several videos. Well, I saw food and I saw more food up here, so I was distracted. Yeah, you start looking around. Next thing you know, you're getting garroted. All right. There goes the Trandia down there. I'm not sure where we're at. We were over in uh, that market. Uh, there's no way you heard that, but uh, we were over in that market. Over there, we got a little uh, uh, frutas. Got a little fruit stall over by the river. But I don't know what this area is either, but I don't think we're too far away. The big what? The sign. It says Centro Comercial El Arena. Uh, Centro Comercial is Mall. So we're back in our old uh, stomping grounds right now at the uh, Baton Mall. And that's where we were sitting the other day. You know, if you go up to the food court, you can sit in that little balcony up there. You know, if it's uh, early in the day. Like this time of day, you'd just be roasting out there like a marshmallow. Uh, but in the morning, before the sun gets on this side of the mall, uh, it's a nice place to get a quick cup of coffee and pastry and hang out and people watch. But we've definitely been hanging out in some, uh, some of the fancier neighborhood today. And we're back in our stomping grounds now. Alrighty, we're back home for a wee little bit, escaping some of those hot Ecuadorian rays. I actually feel like I got a little bit of sun on my face today. I don't think I did as good a job as I should have with my hat. But this here is our produce haul. We got uh, three avocados, not bad sizes. A couple of onions and one uh, okay dragon fruit when uh, they didn't give us the best one. But, I don't know, I never feel comfortable just grabbing the fruit, do you? They sort of bag it up for you and give it to you, and sometimes I'll go through it and trade it, but not too often. I don't know why I'm intimidated by the uh, buying produce. Oops. You know, there's a time when I'd see a Monster Burger heart attack, and I'd be excited to order it. <laughs> But uh, I'm less excited nowadays. Alrighty, so we just had dinner at uh, Sabatino's. And I think all included it was, what did it come to, 39 bucks? So that was pretty good. We had uh, too much spaghetti, too much wine, too much ravioli. We had a, a, a little bit of conversation. We had a muscle appetizer, yep. which was oh, a little bit of bread. So this is kind of a a gringo locale, but we like to uh, I don't know mix it up. We eat at some gringo places and we eat at some uh, local places. You think we should end the day with some ice cream? I think we should. I think we should. Alrighty. So we are going to finish up the evening with some store-bought ice cream. We tried to get some Fancy Pants ice cream, but it didn't work out. But that's life. We do not discriminate when it comes to ice cream. How is it? Is it gonna work? It's the end of the day and your ice cream is gone. On a scale, <laughs> on a scale of one to 10, how depressed are you? Oh, I have this view. Hmm. It's night time. There's no view. What is a view? Yeah. You just have to get out of the glare. Oh, yes. I feel like we're in New York City. New York City? Well, that's the end of the day. 
We'll tally it up. See how much it costs.